Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bone Tech. In today's video, we are doing a video test of the brand new Canon SL3. So right now I'm filming with the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens, and we're filming all the way wide here at 10 millimeters. Now we're filming this video at 1080p at 60 frames a second. That's probably going to be the ideal setup for vlogging. I'm going to switch to 4K here in a second, but unfortunately 4K doesn't have dual pixel AF. So right now we're using dual pixel AF to keep me in focus, and if I move the camera a little bit closer to my face, you can see the camera is keeping me in focus, or if I move away, again, I'm going to stay in focus. It's doing a face tracking system, which is actually pretty advanced and actually looks really good. But when I switch to 4K, which I'm going to do here in one second, it's going to switch to a contrast detect AF, and it's not going to look nearly as good. And we're going to find the camera hunting for focus a lot more than we are right now. So again, this is 1080p at 60 frames a second, and now I'm filming 4K video at 24 frames a second. Let me know if you guys like the video quality here in 4K better than you did at 1080p. As you guys can see in 4K, there's going to be a 1.6 times crop factor. So right now I'm zoomed out all the way to 10 millimeters, but there is going to be that crop factor So I'm going to be much closer to the frame, but it's still going to be pretty decent for vlogging again here at 10 millimeters on the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens I'm gonna shake the camera here a little bit to test for rolling shutter and even just looking in the viewfinder I can see there is definitely a lot of rolling shutter going around here when recording 4k video on the Canon SL3 So if you guys do film 4k vlogs, you're going to want to be very steady You're not going to want to shake a lot because you're gonna end up with what you guys just saw right there That's called rolling shutter Again, right now I'm filming at 10 millimeters on the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens, but I'm actually going to zoom in all the way to 18 millimeters to help you guys get a good idea if you can actually vlog with the Canon kit 18 to 55 millimeter lens. So I'm actually going to zoom in right now all the way to 18 millimeters. And as you guys can see, I can barely fit my head in. I guess I can, but my hand is fully extended. So this is what 18 millimeter video is going to look like with the 1.6 times crop factor. It's going to be very, very zoomed in and probably unusable for vlogging. So if you guys are thinking about picking up the Canon SL3, for a vlogging rig and want to film 4k video i would definitely recommend picking up the 10 to 18 millimeter lens it's going to be a lot wider it's going to look just like this as you guys can see the sl3 is capable of shooting very high quality video and for 550 dollars it's really a good value because you still can film 4k video or you can switch to 1080p at 60 frames a second which is what i'm filming at right now and you guys can see how wide and how nice it is and it's super lightweight camera with absolutely amazing image quality hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs down below and of course make sure to hit the subscribe button and then be notified every single time about a brand new video just like this one to my youtube channel again thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one